Thing. So the first thing you're going to want to do, if you see a straight arm lateral raise or a side arm lateral raise, which can be really straining, you're going to start first with a bent arm lateral raise here. And the reason why this works is because it keeps the weight closer to the core, the center of the body, and it causes less strain on your neck. So it's a really great modification. The next thing that you can do that I always do, this is my favorite modification for any straight arm lateral raise, is an upright row. So with this, you're gonna make sure that your weights are close to your body and your palms are facing your body. And you're basically just gonna imagine yourself zipping up a hoodie, just gonna pull those weights up, skim across the body, bring them right underneath your chin, and then drop them down. So this works the front of the shoulder, just like those lateral raises do. Great. Okay, so the next thing you can do is pin your elbows right into your waist and your palms are gonna be facing each other, the weights facing each other, and you're just gonna lift your elbows up to a 90 degree and then drop them back down. But your weights, you can see that they're not moving in the level or the position that they are. They're just tilting. So you're gonna lift it up and down, up, and down. Perfect. So the last modification you can do whenever you see a lateral raise for your shoulders, if you don't feel good from lifting weights, you can just use your own body and you're still gonna get a ton of benefit. So you just take your arms out either straight or bent, depending on how much pain you have here. And you're just gonna do little airplane arm circles. And then you can go back and forward, see you already feel it, I know you do. And if you keep those elbows bent, you're still gonna get the same benefit. You feel it in the shoulders? Perfect, great job.